Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Right now I need you to smash the follow button or that plus sign so that you don't miss out at any of our awesome stories. Today's story comes to us from Roxy and Ellis. Hey guys, they sent me an awesome idea and you can too. Just head over to kidsshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for an amazing adventure in an old treehouse of Dr. Zingy Breaths? <gasps> Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful, crisp, cool fall day as Roxy and Ellis were getting on their shoes to go play in the forest outside. They had been planning this adventure for a long time. They were going to bring water bottles and walking sticks and even some snacks because they were going to go deeper and deeper into the forest than they have ever been before. <laughs> this was going to be a great adventure. Roxy, do you have everything all ready? Yep, I got it. All in our bag here. And uh, could you grab an extra water too? Yeah, sure, said Ellis. Ellis ran back to the kitchen to grab another water bottle. And now... We got everything. We're ready to go. Bye, Mom and Dad, they shouted. Roxy and Ellis ran out the door, and off they went on their adventure. Have you ever been on an adventure before in the deep, deep parts of a forest? I love to go exploring in a forest. There's always a crazy new thing around every corner. You might find a new creature under a log, or... A little stream that has water in it or uh, a big pile of rocks that you can climb on forests are always a really fun place to play as Roxy and Ellis were marching through the forest they couldn't wait for the new adventures ahead hey Roxy what do you think we're gonna find out here said Ellis I don't know maybe we'll see that old panther we saw before what was his name Oh, that was uh, Pete the Panther. Oh, yes, Pete. I hope we see Pete, said Roxy. Oh, yeah, that's right. A long time ago, they saw a panther, like a real panther, in the forest. And he was pretty friendly. His name was Pete. And he could talk. He was pretty cool. Maybe they'll see him in the forest. Pretty soon, Roxy and Ellis had reached a point in the forest where they had never been before. Wow. Everything up ahead is all new territory, said Roxy. I bet no one has ever been this far before, said Ellis. Wait, what's that up there? He was pointing towards a tree not that far up ahead, but it looked like it had a ladder on the tree. What? Let's go check it out. Roxy and Ellis ran over to that tree, and sure enough, it was a ladder, a really old one, that went up the tree. As they looked up, they put their hand over their eyes and they couldn't see anything. All the branches and leaves were really thick. That ladder just kind of looked like it went up into the tree and just disappeared into the leaves. Do you think there's something way up there? Said Roxy. Uh, I think we have got to check out and see for ourselves, said Ellis. He was the first one climbing up the ladder. Up, up, up they went. Wow, this is really tall, said Ellis. Pretty soon, they had climbed through all the branches and past the point where they couldn't see before, and all of a sudden, they were inside of a treehouse. What? Roxy and Ellis couldn't believe it. That ladder led right up the tree and into a treehouse. A very old treehouse. It was full of <coughs> cobwebs and... And it was dusty, and but it was very cool. Whoa, look at this. Roxy was picking up all these different things that were around, and it looked like it hadn't been touched in a very long time. Wow, look at that over there, said Ellis. Over on the other side of the treehouse was a slide that I don't know where that goes to, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a slide that slid all the way to the bottom somewhere else. I don't know where it goes, but maybe we'll find out. And then Roxy found something pretty incredible. <gasps> Ellis, look at this! 
she held up a book, a notebook, a very old notebook. And on the cover, it said, Secrets of Dr. Stinky Breath. Oh, wait, what, where are we? And then it all made sense as they looked around. It did look like an old hideout of purple ninjas. There was old purple stuff all over the place. And now they're holding an old notebook. As they picked up the notebook, a little beeping started. Beep, 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 beep. <gasps> what, was, what was that? Said Ellis. It, it sounds like an alarm. We got to get out of here, said Roxy. And sure enough, that was a little alarm that the purple ninjas had set just in case someone found this old secret hideout. Oh, man. How are they coming up? <gasps> oh, no. They're coming up the ladder right now. What do we do? Said Ellis. Roxy ran over to the slide. I think we got to go down. Let's go. Oh, boy, guys. I'm sure it was just a squirrel again. No one's ever found this place before. Ah, so annoying when that alarm goes off. As the purple ninjas stepped up into the treehouse, Roxy and Ellis slid down the slide. Where was this slide going to take them? I don't know, but I guess it's better than being caught by the purple ninjas. As they were sliding down the slide, they wanted to scream because it was going so fast, but they had to stay very quiet. It was a very long slide that led them all the way into a splash. A giant river. Roxy! shouted Ellis. Ellis! shouted Roxy. They both <coughs> swam over to the edge of the river. Roxy was holding the old notebook above the water so that it didn't get wet when they splashed in. <coughs> Let's get out. As Roxy and Ellis got out of the water. Oh, oh, we did it. We got out, but we got to get out of here fast. How do we do that? And just then they turned around and there was Pete the Panther. Hey guys, do you guys need a ride? Oh, Pete! shouted Ellis. Yes, we actually do. Can we hop on? And you got to take us to HQ fast. The purple ninjas are up there in the trees. All right, hop on. Roxy and Ellis hopped on the back of Pete the Panther, who zoomed off through the forest towards HQ. They did not have any time to waste. They had to get the secret notebook back to HQ. Back up in the treehouse, the purple ninjas discovered that the notebook was missing. Ah, oh, man. I don't think it was a squirrel, guys. What are you, what are you talking about, man? Well, um, you see this spot right here? Uh, this is where the notebook, yeah, this big secret notebook is supposed to sit. It's gone. Well, uh, maybe it was, maybe it was the, the raccoon. Maybe he took it. No, I don't think it was a raccoon. It has to be the spy team. Oh no, that has all of our secrets including all of our evil buddies around the world that help us. Oh dear, the boss is not going to be happy with this. Wow, great job, Roxy and Ellis. You two just stumbled into a notebook containing so many amazing secrets. Wow, we're going to learn so much about Dr. Stinky Breath, and that's going to help us stop him from taking over the world. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Harlan from California, Olivia from Argentina, Kian from Singapore, Reina from Massachusetts, Jake from Georgia, Mateo and Miguel from Pennsylvania, and Humaida and Huzafa from South Africa. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kidgert Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!